up, poker players? Hope you guys are out there crushing it on the tables. Let's jump into some live poker action. We are playing on Nitrogen Sports today. Check out some of the tables that are going on. Ooh, we are deep on this one. Got a couple regs here. Not a ton of notes on that player. Let's see what other kind of tables we have going on here. These look pretty good. Fishy capital letters. Okay, we'll sit down at this table. And we will sit at another table of the same limit. And we have the free roll starting up here in a couple minutes as well. That should be enough to keep us busy. Starting off with pocket tens here on the left table. And a raise into us by the fishy label player. We got wide calls. Capital letters there as well. That's kind of how I label players. Um, okay, getting it in with tens right away. Let's see what the fish want. Oh, come on. We've got kings over at the other table. You know what? Fish get hands once in a while. Starting out with a lot of pairs over here. And we are going to be putting in a raise here. We can play pretty much straight up against the fish. Not really much we can add to our notes after that jack's hand. He played it pretty much straight forward. Maybe I was a little wide with my range, but I think we can go 10s plus for value against a, a fishy player like that and probably down to ace jack plus you gotta like when a table is all labeled in green here that means that we have some weaker players on this table this person is a reg over here on the right uh, i play a lot of hands against that player you can see i have a little bit more detailed notes on that player as well <laughs> Literally every single one of these players, except for this one, is labeled fishy. I guess that one too. Fishy capital letters. Fishy capital letters. Fishy lowercase letters. Maybe we won't get cooler anymore. That'd be nice. Open oh, nine eight suited here. Flat middle pair. And we're just going to get rid of it to a pot size bet there. I've seen this player play that way with pretty much all top pairs and is willing to go all in with any top pair post flop. All right, free rolls are up. Make my window a little bit smaller so you guys can all see. One thing that's important when playing these free rolls is to watch which players are sitting out. You can see this person's about to time out, so they are not going to be there. And possibly this person on our left here thought about trying to take this one right there, but this player has extremely wide calls and uh, not exactly a spot we want to get called in. But we wind up hitting a full house on the river, try to get some value out of it, which we cannot do. And we're gonna make a pretty tight fold right here, but we're up against a small stack. Oop, missed the pocket deuces down there. That's what another thing about this website is, uh, the action goes pretty quick. The time clock is not very long, so you really have to be on top of your game, make some quick decisions. Going to isolate in the upper right. And we're just gonna make a call here. Lower left, and we get a raise behind us. Early in the tourney, I'm just gonna get rid of it. And we're gonna check that one. We wind up hitting top pair on the turn. And we're gonna put in a small bet here with a player who makes some wide calls. We do not get a call. Flush draw two overs in the bottom left free roll. Put in a C bet there. And we get a check jam. Uh, we're getting pretty good odds here to make the call. I see players make this play with a lot, especially in the free rolls. I'm going to make the call. We get there on the turn. Let's hold. Yep. Three bets. We're just going to get rid of the threes there. Pretty much be set mining. Sevens. Early in turn, we're just going to make a call. You can argue for a three bet, but we are not going to. Pretty good flop for us. Four-handed. I'm going to start it out with a lead here. Half pot. Wet board, I can see a lot of raises here with uh, big draws. We do not get a raise. We do get a call, though. Going to half pot the turn, and we get a call once again. There is our money card on the river, and let's get it all in. Picking up pots here in the bottom left free roll. Current chip leader in the tournament, and we are going to put in an isolation bet here. It's 250 to go. Get a jam behind us. New table. Should be the final table already. And we're going to let go of the ace 10 here. Maybe against a different player, I'd get it in. Seems like this player is a little bit tighter from uh, my brief notes. 
be a lot nicer if I had a HUD on this website, but I don't. I'll have to look into how hard it is to make a HUD. There's got to be some way to get like a card catcher or something that works in tandem with Holdem Manager. Opening is king over here. And we get a jam behind us. This time we have a looser player. And it's not like I'd be folding it to anyone else anyway. But we're getting it in with the ace-king. Up against another ace-king. We could get two more black cards. Nope. Splitting that one. Pocket nines in the free roll. Under the gun. Min open. It's usually a tighter range here. Decent player. And we get a three bet jam. Going to be doing that wide here. I'm going to make the call with the nines. We're flipping, and we take it down, knocking them out left and right, and we get nines once again. 130 is the open. Take it down pre. Six-minute blinds on the free rolls, so these tourneys do go pretty quick. They're essentially turbos, but we got a stack over here, 69 big blinds, and now we only have 11 over at the right table, and we're going to defend the 9-5 suited over there. Might be a good spot for check raise. Yeah, we're going to do it against the second biggest stack. Should be playing pretty tight in that spot. And that hits our range pretty well. We do take it down. Middle pair up there with a flop lead. Bluff, flop lead, heads up. Turn and river leads the top pair. Why would you bluff that board? All right, we'll see it. We'll see a turn. And now we're going to get rid of it. Three bet jam over here from the small blind. We're going to call with the deuces. And we're behind looking for a five or a deuce. Does not happen. Still sitting in first over here in the left free roll. Top three players get paid in that one as well as this one. This one, it would be 0 0.025 Bitcoin for first, 0 0.035 for the one on the left. Ace Jack on the right, a little bit more than 10 bigs. We're going to be jamming. We get a call from the button. And we're up against Queens. We need another Jack or an Ace on the river here. Doesn't happen. We are out of one free roll. Ace Queen up on the left. Get rid of that. Make that a little bit bigger. And get rid of the six deuce. Got an isolation bet here. We'll see a flop. We're playing pretty deep. Interesting bet sizing there. Let's see a turn. And let's see if we can get a cheap river. Made the right flop call. Bad turn for us. We did get a cheap river though. I've got that player labeled low aggression post with a tendency to C bet with uh, just overs about that sizing. And let's get another cheap showdown here with our middle pair we got there on the river. We'll take it. So the buy in for these tables is 0 0.02 Bitcoin. It's about $120 ish king seven in the free roll i'm gonna call it jam from the small blind and fold to a bet here on the button gonna bump it up here pre got a limp here and the cutoff that's an interesting play not a great flop for us but we've only seen low aggression so far so we'll check it and see what happens i'm gonna check once again and probably wind up calling a bet if that happens and let's get to a cheap showdown here Oh, we got there. All right, so King 8 suited is a limp call from the cutoff. Interesting. Wide limp call range pre. I think you wind up labeling fishy player there right away. And we're drawn to a straight most likely over here discounted some of the flush draws as well so we're just gonna get rid of it we could even be drawing dead and we're gonna split the one on the right a couple ace x hands here ace 10 on the left ace king on the right no respect on the left everyone wants to get in Ooh, three bet wide three bet range we're gonna be playing out of position though not gonna do it top pair top kicker on the right against a weaker player probably wide call range you can argue for a check on that flop. Slow play of the ace high. It was relatively dry board. I had one of the flush cards for a blocker. And we're just going to call here. Pretty good flop for us. Excellent spot for a check raise. We're going to make it 825 to go. A7 once again. Calling a jam from Coach Dad. And we will be jamming into this player, which does not happen, but we will call here. Need an ace or a nine? Doesn't happen. Giving away too many chips over here in the free roll. Get a call in position against some fishy players here. And of course, we get a large three bet there. Oh man, I might get tempted to see a flop here. 
Uh, we're gonna call here in the free roll with an ace high. Shit, I uh, got a call here. Pretty ugly flop. We could ask for a red queen. Jamming the AK in the small blind here. And we're gonna get rid of this one. That would have been a nice turn card. Open jack nine suit on the button in the free roll. Big blind comes along, middle pair. Put in a small C bet here. And of course we get a check essential jam. Low aggression, but does do that with top pair. What happened up here? You get rid of the ace eight. Oh, both of them. Tens over there that jammed into us. Or three bet jammed us. Three bet jam. 10, 10. 50 big blind. Maybe slightly less than 50 big blind, but it's a good quick estimate. Getting run over in these cash games. Can't get above a starting stack. Open king queen off here. Top left. And we get a three bet. We'll see a flop. Not the flop. Calling a jam here. Easy call. And folding to a jam top left. Knock one player out in the free roll. And we're going to jam 9-7 suited here. Pocket tens top right. Opening on the button. Take it down pre. Got it all in in the free roll. And we're down to five players. Top three get paid. We are currently sitting third. And that is a good hand. We'll, we'll min open it. Hopefully someone jams. There's a raise, but we are going to be getting it in here. They got rid of it. Three bet fold with those size stacks, huh? Okay. Maybe I should have made it smaller. We'll see a flop here. Top pair. And we're just going to make a call. Hopefully induce some bluffs here. And we're going to check call one more time. Hopefully induce a bluff. Doesn't happen. We take it down though. And now we're in an excellent spot to pick up some steals. Two larger stacks to our left. I would have jammed and would have flopped a straight <laughs> had this player not raised. But like I said, we're in an excellent spot to jam right here. We've got a lot of ICM pressure on these players with smaller stacks over here. And we're going to defend with the king 10 off, middle pair. But a big flop bet. We block some of the draws. It's either a jack or a flush draw most likely. And we're up lines. I'm just gonna keep jamming into this player. Tons of pressure on him. And we're just gonna keep doing it. King high is good enough. Now we are in the cutoff, but we get a jam. We're not gonna be doing it with that hand. That's an unfortunate river over here. We've been nice in the flop. Jack six, one of these sides is gonna call us. We'll, let, we'll give him a walk this time. Nine three, no good. Someone's gonna be crippled here in the tourney. Oh, neither of these players are a stack. Oh, how bro? We'll open the aces. We'll open the ace deuce. Just trying to get past that player. We'll call jams from any of these guys. Ace high is in the lead. Let's get a hold. And we do down to four. And we're getting crazy good odds here to make a call. It's almost three to one. As long as we have live cards, we're good. Which we do. Not anymore. Look at that double up. Huge stack. Kidding. Nah. Oh shit, someone's doubling up. Quads. Is that the best you could do? And we'll get rid of the fives with pot size bet there. And we're gonna fold here to a regen. Aces this time, getting the hands over there. We cashed, we'll give you a walk. Open here, and we're gonna make a call. Flip and take it down. Heads up for the free roll title. Ace King, hello. Oh, it just jammed right into me, okay. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, it's over. It is over. And that, my friends, is how you win a free roll. 0 0.035 Bitcoin into the bankroll just like that. 42 minutes. What would that be? About 200 bucks, maybe a little bit more than 200 bucks. I'm going to play around to my blinds on these, and we will call it a video. So that is some live poker action here on Nitrogen Sports. It's quick. There's some free money being tossed around. All you have to do is play, I think, 25 player points to get into the bigger free roll, the one that I won, and then only seven a day to get into the smaller one. Doesn't take much to get there. For me, it's about $50 of free value every single day just by playing, and it's more than 200 bucks when you win it, so that's not bad. And there is the hand we're ending on. Well, thanks for watching that quick session, 45 minute session, quick free roll win. Meh. We lost some money on the cash games. We probably wound up a little bit better than break even. 
But if you liked this poker action and you want to get in on Nitrogen Sports, the link is down in the video description. I've been playing quite a bit of poker on here and I've been doing pretty well. I'm not complaining at all. The only thing I'm complaining about is the player pool. Let's get more people on there, you guys. Sign up. Come on now. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. You can check out my profitability. I will leave that link down in the description as well. It's a spreadsheet where I track all of my sessions and you can see where I am most profitable. So far, I have info on America's Card Room and Nitrogen Sports. Starting to do some of the Nitrogen Sports mobile and going to get in some cash games and some Steam It Poker, which is Luxax Poker as well. Small player pool there also, but we're going to try it out, see how it goes. Give the video a thumbs up and let me know where I made my mistakes in the comment section below. Be back soon with a new video, but until then, I'll see you guys out on the virtual felt. Be free.